Wow. I'd see an Atlas ship out the window again. Do you think it's safe following Juno to that ship? There's clearly a lot more she has yet to tell us. Yeah, but not by choice. Somebody's pulling her strings. And I'll bet whoever it is, they're on that ship. I'll be first. Looks like we've got another door on the blink. Let's get a closer look. Wait a minute. Can you see anything? What's happening here? <laughs> Liv, there's something moving on the other side of the door. Some sort of creature. Let me guess. Small, spongy, and covered in tentacles. Yeah. How did you know? Because there's one over here, too. Come and have a look. What the? What is that? That is a tick. I'm sorry, you say that like I'm supposed to know what it means? Ugh. Ticks are an evolved form of the biomass. <laughs> Oh my god, that is a pure nightmare. <laughs> How do you mean, evolve? Accelerated evolutionary growth is an inherent physiological trait in all biomass forms. It's one of the main reasons the biomass is so resilient. Why does it keep following me like that? Ticks instinctually seek out the closest viable energy source, which in this case happens to be you. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Alright, so now what do we do? The only way we can proceed is by removing those ticks. Well, let's have a look around then. There's got to be some way to get rid of these things. Well, you should know, Juno. What about that disposal unit? That might work. You'll just need to find a way to get them into the chute. It will be dangerous, but I don't see any other option. You'll need to clear the area before boarding the ship. How the hell are we supposed to clear the room if we can't even get inside? According to the station schematics, there should be another way to access the security checkpoint through the loading bay. It's just this way. Oh, damn. Now we have more action in the sequel. I preferred biomass that did nothing. <laughs> Awfully dark in there. Are you sure it's safe? Not as sure as I'd like to be. I'll try to scan the area ahead for potential threats. Stand by. No use. Can't see a thing. Jack, mind using your headlamp to throw some light in there. I think that's a biomass, don't know. Right. <laughs> I'm seeing a considerable biomass presence on the other side. Shit. Captain Rhodes. We know, Juno. We saw it. I'm afraid this means you'll have to stay behind. Uh, what? Jack and I will continue through the loading bay. Once we clear the docking terminal... No, absolutely not. I'm sorry, Captain, but I cannot allow you to proceed. The risk is far too great. Well, if it's too risky for me, it's too risky for Jack. It's all right, Liv. I was built for this. You were built for this. Oh, right, we have one life. <laughs> I know, you've gotten used to thinking of yourself as... Invincible, but you're not. Not anymore. If you go in there with only one shell and something happens, you could. Actually, Captain, I think there may be a way for Jack to avoid that possibility. Yeah, you can avoid it by not going. As I was scanning the loading bay, I detected a working fabricator in the adjacent section. If Jack and I can get it powered on, we should be able to use it to scan his architecture into the station's database. So, you're saying he'd be able to reboot again? Exactly. <sighs> I guess it's worth it. <laughs> From what I can see, the biomass appears to be dormant. The risk is minimal. And how long do you suppose that will last? <laughs> Not long. I promise, Captain. I won't let Jack do anything that might put him in jeopardy. <sighs> All right. But you're not the one deciding. All right. If we're going to do this, let's do it. Just watch yourself in there, okay? I'll be waiting back at the security entrance. Understood. I'll see you on the other side. Uh, let's maybe mind our phrasing. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean... It's all right. I know what you meant. Good luck. Popcorn. 
I'll unlock the door for you. Stand by. Ready when you are. Server mission again. Jack, up here. The emergency power switch is in this control room. How do I get inside? You'll need to go through the maintenance decks. There should be an access way nearby. Here we go. I mean, when we will power it down, the biomass will activate. You're sure all the biomass in this sector is dormant? As sure as it can be. Of course, that will change once we get emergency power back on. Right. The... But by then he'll be able to reboot, right? It will take a minute or two to get Jack scanned into the system, but that is more or less correct. More or less. I mean, those sticks are literally the worst it seems it's gonna be. I don't have my boosters like to stop, so I have to be careful. I wonder if I will get it eventually. Wait, did it end? Oh, there was a turn. Coming, Gina. Ah, uh, there you are. This override switch will restore emergency power to the local grid. Oh, what's that? Emergency power has been restored. The door to the loading bay is unlocked. What about the fabricator? Online and ready to scan. Jack, if you'll follow me. Just climb inside and we'll begin. Yay! This will only take a few moments. New template created. Echo unit series 11. Initializing fixed tomographic scan. Mapping target composition. Replicating internal functionality. Linking neural matrix to network. Scan complete. Did it work? Scan output shows no errors. Neural connection is green. Yes, it worked. You're sure? From this point forward, if Jack's shell becomes damaged or destroyed, he will automatically reprint at the nearest working fabricator. Well, Jack? How do you feel? Immortal. <laughs> Rather invincible. All right, well, I suppose I had that coming. It's unfortunate that fabricators are incapable of replicating organic matter. Otherwise, <gasps> Captain, we'd be able to scan you into the system as well. Right. Well, the important thing is, Jack's back to normal. We're all done here. Jack, I've reopened the access hatch. Make your way back through the maintenance duct. I'll be waiting for you by the entrance to the loading bay. On my way. Be careful. Restoring emergency power has awakened the biomass. So, unless you're planning to test your new reboot ability, I would avoid all contact. Understood. Don't think we have boosters, no. Well, goddammit. Hello again. Ugh. Why do I have to? Go back through here. We don't have any shortcut. Juna. I'm sure she's trolling me. Come on, I'm <laughs> half all day. Well done, making it through unharmed. It's clear you've had extensive experience with the biomass. More than enough, yes. Now then, this corridor will take us through the loading bay and back around to the rear entrance of the security room. After you, Jack. 
Liv, we are moving into the loading bay. Copy that. Keep me posted on comms, all right? Of course. I'll continue to scan the station's database for any additional schematics or equipment that might be of use. Sure, you do that. Good luck in there, Jack. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh, they're gonna be horrible in the playthrough, I can't tell. The way ahead is through this door, but if you try to open it now, the tick is sure to attack you. Yeah. We should find a way to pacify it before we even attempt opening the door. You little bitch. What is this panel in the floor? An electrical bypass. It allows you to direct emergency power to various systems in the area. You can use your cutter to gain access. You can lift the lever to rewrap power. So the bypass powers the crane arm. That will certainly keep the tank occupied. Now we should be able to safely open the door. We're fortunate the store has an emergency release. Not all of them do. Now just pull the release handle and the door will unlatch. I wonder if I can attack it. That's it. You should be able to slide the door open. Like just destroy it or something. Should I try? Uh. Ah, shit, massive. Get out, get out, get out. Ew, 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 ew. No. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> get out. Jack? Jack, are you alright? I'm here. The fabrication process and data transfer were both successful. Oh, thank God for that. Ew. Watch yourself. There are two more takes at the end of the corridor. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Shields at 95%. Just go to the crane or something. Shields at 50%. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no, they are both hugging it. Okay. Oh, that's my body. <laughs> Uh, we should move it. You might be able to use that crane to get past the other techs. You should be able to use the overhead handles to push it along the rail, or use the turning wheel to rotate the arm. Slowly and steady. <laughs> My body is in the way. Sorry, dude. <laughs> I should turn it because then that other one is gonna be attacking me. And you go. Uh, no. <laughs> They're not that scared. Oh my god. Ready? Another tick. Take care moving forward. Copy that. Ugh. Doors powering up. Huh. But he blocks it automatically. Now it's kinda like a puzzle game. <laughs> Power rerouted. It appears the transformer on the far wall is now live. The tick is still focused on the door. So long as the tick has a power source to feed on, it won't bother searching for another. Okay. That did it. Well done. You'll need to repower the door before continuing. I mean... Oh, okay, yeah. Just, again, switch. Yeah. 
More ticks in the next room. We'll need some way to distract them. I think I got it. God damn it. Not to me. Got it. Skillful work, Echo One. Thank you. What about this? Door powered down. The tick can sense me through the glass. Yes. As long as it can read your energy signature, the tick will continue to follow you. Hmm. Perhaps I can use that to my advantage. Indeed. Ticks may be deadly, but they're not exactly intelligent. I think I just go behind that. Okay, yeah. Off you go, bitches. Further. <laughs> Cut them. <laughs> Excuse me. Have fun here. Door power restored. Not too close. Mm -hmm. 